Hello, hello everybody. Happy Wednesday, day 38 of our social distancing meditation bliss. I've had an interesting morning. I felt like I was running around to try to get here on time, hi Draper, and then um, realizing that I actually don't have to be here on time. <laughs> so I'm a few minutes late and it's all good. Uh, welcome to day 38. How's everybody feeling? How are you feeling, Draper? <laughs> um, happy Earth Day, um, which is something I just came into my attention um, and thinking I wish I had known um, before that it was Earth Day. I just kind of let this one slide by and uh, Earth is talking to us right now, right? Um, we had that little earthquake last night and um, I think it happened at like 12.30 and just what what an interesting time this is right now. I have so many people I've been talking to, some people who are loving being home, loving the social distancing, loving the um, safer at home, they don't have to be doing this, that, and the other thing that they normally have to do. Hi, Andy. And um, they get to more focus on the things that they want to be doing right now, which is been the case for me in a lot of ways is uh, I got to put a lot of things down that had me busy throughout my day and I'm getting to focus a lot more on the things I want to be doing. I know friends with kids who are grateful that right now they get to spend some time with their families. Um, they don't get to see their kids often. And I have friends with kids who are absolutely going crazy, spending all the time with the family and their kids and having nowhere to go. So um, I was just thinking like what makes it good and what makes it bad, you know, and that's really just our perception of it all. So just the invitation to see where you are right now and to check in with how you're feeling right now. And do you, is this a good thing for you or is this a bad thing for you? And what makes it that way is just really your interpretation. So just the invitation to slow down. Like I said, I was rushing to get here to do the 1030 and then I was like, I don't have to rush. I don't have to be there at 1030. I can actually just get there when I get there. And um, yeah, and happy Earth Day. What, a, what an amazing Earth this is and what a great thing that Earth gets to breathe right now. And um, I was listening to this thing that it was like, you know, this virus will pass, this uh, COVID-19 will pass, uh, and is this going to be enough that's going to make us look at the ways that we've been living? You know, the, were the apocalyptic fires enough to have us look? Were the um, vanishing glaciers enough to have us look? Were the super hurricanes enough to have us look at what we were doing to our earth? None of those things were, so really, hopefully, this is enough to make us look at the ways that we've been living and the changes that we can make and how we can nurture our planet that we share with the animals and with each other. And um, I have my friend um, who, who lives in Tanzania, we were talking about how different animals are starting to come out now and um, starting to come out of hiding. You know, like a lot of the animals were not coming out because there's so many so much safari going on and so much people everywhere. Um, the extinction is, is up and now these animals are starting to come out a little more and are starting to mate again. And what, what a beautiful thing that is for the world. So happy Earth Day. Let's go ahead and meditate, get started. I got you two here with me. <laughs> so exactly why I'm happy I didn't rush. So uh, go ahead and find your comfortable seat, find your position. Um, back straight, not rigid. I like to keep my chin slightly down so there's no wrinkles in the back of my neck. And hands up if you're looking to receive, hands down if you need to get grounded this morning. So find your spot. Let's take some deep breaths to get started. Calm that coffee jitters uh, if you have some this morning. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out slow through the mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose. Out slow through the mouth. And last one we're gonna to take together. Deep breath in through the nose and hold it at the top. 
Suspend, take a little more in, and sigh it out through your mouth. Give your heaviness to the earth. Feel your connection to the planet. Let your breathing go back to normal. Feel your connection from your bottom to the ground. Just feel what it feels like to be totally present in your body. Try to keep your attention on your breath when you are breathing in, knowing you're breathing in. And when you're breathing out, knowing you're breathing out. Be still and listen. Just paying attention to what's going on around us. Staying out of the thinking mind and into the feeling body, just feel. If you have any discomfort in your body, try not to label that as being wrong or bad. Maybe make that your attention for a few moments, breathing into that space. There is no right or wrong here. Just a few minutes to just be, no place for judgment, just breathing. Breathe into your heart space. Feel your heart expand as you breathe in. And leaving your heart open as you exhale out. Breathing in, your heart expands. And breathing out, leaving your heart open.
just another minute or so for you to just be with you. Focusing on your breathing. grateful that this planet has her chance to heal and take her breath. We are all doing the same. We are going to end with just a little love and kindness for the planet. And saying to yourself, either mentally or aloud, may Mother Nature be happy. May she be safe. May she be treated kindly. And may she feel loved. Maybe you can put your hands on the ground, just connect to the earth for a moment. Let's take a deep breath in, filling your body with all of the nutrients from the earth. Breathing in. And exhaling it all out, giving it all back. Loving your planet today. When you're ready, you can give your body a little wiggle. Open your eyes when you're ready. Come back to the space. Just a little love for the earth today. Happy Earth Day. Maybe plant a garden, plant an herb garden if you don't have the space. Maybe fill a pine cone with peanut butter for a bird feeder. If you can get outside and take a walk, just connect to the earth today. Connect to the earth. She's given us so much. She's given us everything that we have and uh, we need, to, we need to start loving her. We need to start loving her. Thank you for being here. Day 38, social distancing, meditation, bliss. We're here every day, and I will see you next time. Thank you.